Right. Let's see. Development block. Dyson and Colossus. Close this 12.0. Wait. Did they quietly remove the decimal? I just realized, I didn't pay attention to it earlier, but haven't they been doing zero point... Yeah, look, we're zero point eleven point yada yada. Have they? They removed the zero point. Oh, they said in the patch notes? Hmm. So it's no longer zero point twelve, it's just twelve point oh. Have we finally reached full release? The success of the war of the submarine implementation drove them over the finally made it to full release. The game is complete. Let's go. Let's go. Congratulations. World of Warships. Let's go. Full release, boys. Okay. The Japanese Tier 9 battleship Dyson and British Tier 8 aircraft carrier Colossus have been added to the game for testing. Okay. I kind of actually dig the camera. Kind of dig the camera, but another Tier 9 IGN BB. Don't we have a lot of those? Izumo? Musashi, uh, Hizen, Iwami, Dyson, what else do we have? Is that them? Five? I mentioned Musashi. So five. Five of them. This looks very much like the Iwami. The problem with the Ivami was, I couldn't find a reason to ever get it over the Izumo. The Izumo just looked like the better ship in every way, and played like the better ship, really. By IG, but that's kind of a copy pasta Izumo, and it's not really IGM. Case made secondaries. A fast battleship with powerful guns and torpedo armor. Uh oh. Based on projects drawn up in the 1910s, the ship inherits a number of archaic features, including the placement of anti-mine guns in casemates. Anti-mine guns. The battleship is distinguished by her few but accurate main battle guns. The ship's armament is also represented by torpedo tubes with a high range and torpedo damage. The battleship has a very high speed, but a large turning circle. The consumables arsenal of the ship is represented by the damage control party, a repair party which restores an increased number of HP per second, as well as the choice between a fighter or a spotter with a significantly increased operating time. Sniper BB moment. Dyson has poor armor, oh boy, for a tier 9 battleship and large dimensions which, makes, which make the optimal gameplay happen at medium long range. At the same time, her good speed allows, if necessary, to change flanks or dictate range of engagement. Okay, yada yada. This is all naming, 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 naming. Da 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 da. Congo class. A battleship Dyson is a development of a fast battle cruiser designed in 1916 as part of the first phase of the Navy's construction program known as the 8 8 program. It is assumed that it also would have underwent a major modernization in 1939, retaining its name in honor of a volcanic mountain in southwestern Japan. Considered sacred since ancient times and where a highly revered Buddhist monastery has been located since the 8th century CE. Its temple complex is situated in the list of Japan's, Japan's national treasures. Interesting. It is assumed. Ah, yeah. This is this is PTSD moment for sure though. It is assumed. Oh boy. They do love assuming in these dev blocks, don't they? 69.3 at tier 9. 32 millimeter play thing though. That's more than I expected. That's a lot more than I expected. It can't be overmatched then. Well, not by anything except 460. Is that the highest repeater protection in the game? That might be the highest... What is Iowa? Iowa... Oh, sorry. What is Yamato? Sorry. Yamato has ridiculously high.
Oh yeah, that was just flooding. It, I remember it used to give you, but no, no, that was olden times. And this one didn't do shit. 53. Suma might be higher. Suma might be higher. Alabama had ridiculously high as well. Alabama had absolutely ridiculously high. Mm. That was kind of... When Alabama first came out, that was supposed to be the gimmick side grade from North Carolina. And then they gave everything that Alabama had to the Massachusetts, plus gave the Massachusetts uh, secondaries. So no one played Alabama anymore. Yeah, 53 is a lot. Thank you, Smack Gang, for the 25. Interesting. 20.6 game range. How long Torps are going to hit this thing for, like, 5k? <laughs> cool. Mm -mm. Looks pretty standard. 410s. 27 reload. 35. Ooh, 2.1 Sigma. 2.1 Sigma. That's Yamato Sigma. On 27 second reload. If these are Izuma guns, if these are Izuma guns with 27 second reload, you're going to slot reload mode as well. So you're going to cut it down to something like 24, 24 something reload. So you're going to have 24 second reload with 2.1 Sigma. Hmm. If it has Izuma pen as well, that could be some punchy guns for sure. Reload time. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. 5k MSW. Okay. Cool. You're going to have a lot of fun against uh, subs with this thing for sure. Jesus Christ. 35 second turret traverse is pretty nice, yeah. 4x4 torps. Holy shit. That's actually a lot of torps for a battleship. What the fuck? 20, 21km torps. 10km range. 67. Wow. 1.7 detect. These are fucking nasty torpedoes. These are fucking nasty torpedoes. It is Izuma guns. Yeah, we'll see if it gets the same pen. But it looks like Izuma guns. This thing might be pretty nasty. Very hard hitting torpedoes. With good speed. And not the worst to conceal. Okay. These torps are scary. But how many BBs are you going to see do the IGN thing? I've often said that if you removed that if you removed torpedoes from the IGN cruisers, the win rate would go up significantly. Because you'd have Yoshinos who stop giving flight broadside to kill themselves to torpedo, you'd have Zaos who stop giving flight broadside to kill themselves. We're gonna see if the same thing will apply to this thing, where it's gonna give you flat broadside to use the torps and you're gonna get a free dev strike. Especially if it's poorly armored. Something else that Zao is going to be worse at then. Are these better torps than Zao? <laughs> Surely no. Nah. Nah. Zao can't be worse at everything. That's not fair. It can't be worse at everything. Or better detect. Interesting. Secondary, 7k range. A fair bit of them, actually. 20 and 16. Hmm. AA. 6 flank. Six Flags seems pretty decent for an IGM. What? I remember Zuma had really dog air. Uh... Six Flag. No, it is the same. It is the same. The Continuous is better. The Continuous is better. But pretty similar otherwise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see, 35. Almost 37 knots in a BB. Uh, what's the concealer? Do you want to run brisk on this thing? Let me check the conceal first. 13.3. You can totally run brisk in this thing. You can totally run brisk in this thing. Brisk was what, 10? That's pretty spicy. That's pretty spicy. For disengaging and repositioning, that's pretty spicy. Fucking hell. 
Does the hello hello have new colors? Yes, it does, because it's a Christmas. I mean, if you hover over it, you can see it's even a Christmas potato. It's the Christmas version. We switched to Christmas modes today. Rudder is turning is awful. Oh, it was? Yeah, thank you, Edmund Kartoffel for the 24. Hmm. Okay, 16 second runner shift, 1.1. I mean, it handles like dog, but it's giga fast. And if the firing angles are good, this one is going to be, can be pretty nasty. We'll see how valuable Brisk will be, though, because if. I mean, it might be good, it will be probably still good for disengaging, but considering if you run reload mod, because you can't really run dispersion mod, it's, a, it's reload or range, you're probably going to run reload. You're going to have 24 or something, 24.3 reload. And then you got AR, you're going to be running around with 20 second reload. So that's going to be the same as the Bloom. So Brisk might be hard to get value out of. This ship is going to be heavily dependent on the firing angles. Because it's look how huge it is. Look how huge it is. That's a lot of fucking broadside. If the firing angles are bad and you have to get broadside, it's game over. It's going to suck. But if the firing angles are good and it allows you to maintain semi-decent angles, it might be very strong. I saw that, yeah, Van Dark Hunt. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Spotter plane 240 second duration. Jesus. 100. Jesus. 140% duration boost. 140% duration boost. And reload 90. So, yeah, but they basically switched the duration and reload around on this thing. That's a four minute spotter. And I mean, you're guaranteed going to be running the, the, this thing on it. 30% duration. Jesus. That's another extra minute gained right there. They're going to be running around with five minutes, five minutes spotter plan. Is it typo? No, they, they mentioned it. Uh, <laughs> where did I? Ah, or a spotter with a significantly increased operating time. It's intentional. It's intentional. So, five minutes spotter plan. With one minute 30 cooldown. If, this, if the angles are good, this thing is going to be quite nasty. People will run fucking fighter on this? Of course they will. <laughs> Very strong consumable, by the way. Colossus. Wow, that looks so Cold War, it's not even funny. Really? It's built at the height of World War II. It looks so Cold War. Except for the planes, really. This thing... The sleekness? Hmm. The lead ship in a series of light naval aircraft carriers built in the UK at the height of World War II. The closest is an intermediate link between high speed attack aircraft carriers and low speed escort. The aircraft carriers are armed with three types of squadrons attack aircraft with AP rockets, yikes, torpedo bombers, and bombers to drop HE bombs in level flight, aka carpet bombers. Thank you, Rockets rockets a good armor penetration. I hate that they added another type of ammunition that allows the carrier to create a crossfire. I really hate the concept of AP rockets. I mean, I hate carriers in general, but AP rockets are extra brutal because if you're a cruiser and these fucking things show up, you instantly have to be in a kiting position. Or if you try to go nose in, you're going to have the enemy ships spotting you with because of the planes. And you're going to have these fucking planes come in to crossfire you. So you get to choose. Do I eat Citadels from the carrier? Or do I eat Dev Strikes from the entire enemy team? And it's so fucking awful. It's like it's brutal to play against. Because the only solution in that case is to be in a position where you can avoid the rockets without the enemy team being able to Dev Strike you. That's the only solution. And that means playing passive. That means sniping. That means fucking pussing around in spawn. That's the only option it allows. And that's why it's a shit fucking design. Like, stop forcing us 
to hide in any vulnerable cruiser. Which will allow them to deal good damage to various types of targets. Heavy drones are good, helpful, but low speed. Two attacking flights and three aircraft. The bombers carry a large number of gun. A large spread ellipse. 47.6, 90mm. Reload time. Oh, auto def charge. Oh, it's actually slow. A carrier that's not a race car? That's incredible. Still, 11.4 surface detector. <laughs> Fucking Lamar. Yikes. Attack aircraft. Size of attacking flight 3. Aircraft for squadron 9. Aircraft restoration. Rockets in payload. Wait, 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 wait. Is that 3 times 6 then? 18? 169 not planes. So, this thing comes at you at 170, which boost you're obviously going to do much more. You're going to do 200 knots. So, this thing comes at you with 18 planes that has Citadel U for 3.4. Okay, never mind. You, you, in this ship, you don't choose between will you eat citadels from this guy or get dead struck by the enemy team. In this ship, you choose if you're playing a cruiser, you choose will I get dead struck by the enemy team or or enemy ships, play, uh, surface ships, or will I get dead struck by the carrier? Really good design, R really cool design. So that's gonna be fun, and it's gonna it's gonna do it three times. It's gonna drop, come back, drop, come back, drop. So three times. Enjoy playing a tier 8 cruiser against it. Like, what, what if you're a Mogami? You got 40k health and no AA. And a huge citadel. Awful. Awful, 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 awful. I mean, even if it just lands a couple of them, it's launching 18 rockets. Let's say you land, land, land three citadels with your 18 rockets. That's uh, 10k health gone. Tier 8 cruisers, except for these new gimmicks that they're releasing. Tier 8 cruisers don't have heals. You just lost a quarter of your health. And he's coming back for two more strikes. Like... <laughs> just shit, honestly. Torpedoes... One. Wait, let's see. Torpedo bombers. 20, holy health points. Uh, maximum speed 209. Jesus. Um, three planes. One, three torps. 5.235. Yeah. Torpedo arming distance 329 meters. What? 329 meters? Isn't that like right on top of you? Isn't that right on top of you? 300 meters. He will drop them right on top of you. What? How is that even fair? What the fuck? 300 meters away? How's that even remotely fair? Dive bombers, two, two, three, cruises behind the box. Three planes, nine, three drops. Mm. <laughs> Panturia. Thank you, Fantasy, for the five months. Appreciate it, my dude. Six times three, 18 bombs. Uh, to, be, to be fair, the word, word fair likely came up precisely zero times in a design meeting. True, true, true. Yikes. 
That's like tier six arming distance, by the way. Yeah, it is. So, another fucking form of Ebola that's gonna be absolutely awful to play against. Cool. Big fan, big fan. 